Today's repertoire topic is about Willy Brandt. And uh, Willy, or in German, it was pronounced Willy Brandt. Willy was born in Kohlberg, Germany in, in uh, 1869. He graduated from the Kohlberg, uh, Kohlberg sorry, Conservatory in 1887. He uh, performed in Germany for a few years and then took a job in Helsinki, Finland. But the majority of his career was spent in Moscow. He won a job as principal trumpet in the Bolshoi Theater Orchestra in Moscow, which is today still considered to be perhaps the top chair in the whole country. Uh, he started that job in 1891, and um, his name in German, pronounced Vili, was uh, written by the Russians as Vasily, V-A-S-S-I-L-Y. So we often see different spellings of his name, but Vili is Vasily. <laughs> And uh, he's today considered to be the, the father of the Russian trumpet school of, of playing. And uh, he had many great students. So, uh, four of his most famous students were Sergei Bolotin, uh, Vladimir Drucker, who later came to the United States and was principal trumpet of the Los Angeles Philharmonic, uh, Sergei Yeroman, and especially Mikhail Tabakov, who was a very famous player in Moscow. Later in his career, uh, Brandt was uh, assigned to be the professor of trumpet and cornet at the Saratov Conservatory uh, starting in, in 1912. And he spent the remainder of his life there. Um, he was very beloved by the, by the whole town because during lunch breaks, he would go to different factories and play his cornet for people as they, as they worked. And uh, he, he died in 1923 uh, at the age of 54 because of a vaccination. He had a reaction to the vaccination and it killed him. But over 10,000 people came to his funeral and paid their respects. Um, so I'd like to talk about some of the, the trumpet works. We'll first start off with Vegan Lead. So vegan lead is a, is a work that is not technically difficult, but the endurance is a little bit of a factor. But it's a beautiful piece, a nice recital work, and it's something that I think should be played a lot more often than it is. The next piece to discuss is his concert piece number one. Concert piece number one is uh, very popular and is played often uh, as a recital work. It's also uh, done now with band and orchestra. Uh, there are arrangements made for that. Uh, now we'll go to the second concert piece. The second concert piece is even more difficult on a technical side than the first concert piece. Uh, it's just as nice a work and it's, a, it's too bad that it's not as popular as the first concert piece, but I think we should get to know that one. It's, it's a nice work. Uh, then for a piece for two trumpets and piano uh, called Two Pieces, Opus 15 by Brandt. Again, the uh, two pieces uh, is a really nice work, and uh, the two movements are very contrasting, very delightful, and I don't know why they're not played more often, but I'm hoping that they'll come back and be, be more popular. And the last work is one that is fairly well known. It's The Country Pictures by Brandt. Country Pictures is for four cornets unaccompanied. It has um, four movements to it, and um, it's a fun piece to play. It's good for college recitals. It's uh, doable by a good high school quartet, and it's just delightful to
turn of the century music. So I hope you enjoy the music of Billy Brandt. Thank you very much.